Yo, back again. We got OD's award show, man. MD award show, man. Checking out who we got each NBA award race. We're going to give y'all what we think is going to win each one. We got the Ringers website up, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh to the wire. Watch that podcast, give me the idea, do the video. Shout out Kenny, you know what I'm saying? And all them other guys over there. Rookie of the year. Who do we got, man? Rookie of the year. Who we thinking? I think there's a pretty easy one, you know what I'm saying? I think we go Paulo for this one. Pretty light. Uh the only other one I would consider. I'm surprised they don't have Benedict Mathery on here instead of J Dub, but I like J Dub. Only other one I consider is J Dub. I think Walker Kessler I think Walker Kessler is dope. But, like, he don't get the points. You, they be looking at the points, man. Like, let's be real. Like, Paulo is averaging 20 points per game this year. You know what I'm saying? Walker Kessler is averaging, like, nine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think this one's light bag. Paulo, I mean, he came in. You know what I'm saying? We already knew what he was going to do in the league. And uh, he just proved everybody right. I mean, the, guy, the guy's a dog, right? Um, no question about it. Averaging 20-plus points per game. I mean, given only really score on the Magic. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. Easy one, Paulo, rookie of the year, like we thought. Interesting to see, though, next year, Chet Holmgren. He's going to be a rookie next year. I'd like to see what he can do. Maybe he can sneak out rookie of the year next year. But definitely Paulo for this year. Lock it in. All right, moving on to the next one. We got six man of the year. Now, six man of the year is interesting because there's not really one contestant that, that sticks out. Like last year, we all knew Tyler was going to win it. Uh, like over Kevin Love was the second candidate, I believe, last year. <clears throat> but this one's interesting, man, because... You got Malcolm Brogdon, right? Just to give you a little preview, Malcolm Brogdon on the season averaging 15 points per game, uh, four rebounds, and about three and a half, four assists per game. So, I mean, it's all the numbers for a six man of the year, right? And then we take here and take a look at Emmanuel quickly stats. Roughly about the same, to be honest. Just a little low. Like, they pretty, have pretty much the same numbers 14 of almost 15 points per game for four rebounds and about three and a half assists. But uh, quickly got a steal for the season. Definitely upping his numbers a little bit from last year. Not by too much, though. Not by too much. He did get some more minutes this year. But um, I think it's really going to be between these two, Brogdon and Quickly. I mean, Powell's a good player. Powell brings a lot to the Clippers, and, and I like everything that Powell does. But I'm saying, I mean, we t even take a look down here, what they're saying about uh, about Brogdon. I'm saying that they finessed him from the Pacers, like, realistically. They gave him a, a bag of salt teams, and I'm saying, a little, little, little expired ass like Chalo Bar, and I'm saying, for, for Malcolm Brogdon, and he's balling for them. Clearly, I mean, he does his thing, right? He 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 provides them like a true like point guard s type player. You know what I'm saying, uh, be able to, to facilitate the ball, and he stayed healthy this year for the most part. That was that's usually Brogdon's only thing is the boy be getting injured as hell. Motherfucker, thirty years old already. I ain't even like remember he just won rookie of the year. It feels like he was like three years ago. Me personally, I mean, I'm taking quickly this year. I've seen quickly play. I watched a lot of next games. I'm definitely gonna take quickly here. I mean. It provides the Knicks with so much scoring, like so much, like just a threat off the bench is an absolute buck. I know the right choice is probably to take what they think they're going to give it to is Brogdon, but who I personally think should win it is quickly. I mean, Brogdon does a lot, like contributes to winning basketball. But I mean, quickly is, quickly is about the same numbers. You know what I'm saying he's fun to watch, man. Um, and I, I like to giving it to the young guy here, I like giving it to quickly coming in just straight bucket off the bench. That's what six-man used to be, man. Six-man award. Used to give it to Lou Will all the time. Coming off the bench and just getting straight bucks. Jamal Crawford coming off straight bucks. Tyler Hero, straight bucks. And, I mean, that's what Quickly is giving you, man. So, uh, we won't get Quickly for this one. <clears throat> Coach of the year, man, Mike Brown. Mike Brown, Mark Dagno, Joe Mazzula, Celtics coach, coming in, interim coach, coming to head coach of the team. Very impressive shit. Is it that hard to coach the Celtics? Shit, probably I'm not an NBA coach, but I mean, I'm I'm gonna say Mike Mike Brown, bro. I mean, coming in, we all know the history of Mike Brown, man. Not overall the greatest coach in the world, but coming in here and he did his thing to this Kings team, man. Bolstering him to the three C, first time they made the playoffs in fucking decades, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I think there's no brainer, bro. Talk about Mike Brown too. Ain't talking about anybody else. You know what I'm saying Mike Brown's the guy. Got him to the three C. Kings look. Really good team this year, man. Really fun to watch team. I really like the Kings this year. But uh, unfortunately, y'all get matched up with the Lakers. Get them out of here. But uh, quickly, saying Mike Brown and Coach D, I think that's a no-brainer. Moving on to MIP, most improved player. Now, <clears throat> I feel like this one could get a little interesting. We all know Shea. What is he averaging? 30-plus points per game. Let's take a look. Shea is averaging 31.5. I mean... 
I think this is I think this is taking a look at the jump is kind of crazy from 31 and a half points from 24 and a half points to 31 and a half points and about the same assists same rebounding numbers jump seven points and it's not like a it's not like a 14 to 21 or like a or like a 10 to 17 like 24 to 31 is a big jump bro 31 and a half points bro that's crazy bro marketing because he's jumped about nine points i mean that's a crazy jump as well all of his numbers just go up bro 2014 points to 25 they just weren't using them right man the Cavs, the boys ain't know what to do with them man but uh 25 point per game is crazy though from uh from Larry marketing but I, I think just the fact that shea jumped from 24 to 31 the thunder are were a lot better than everybody expected everybody thought the thunder would be shit right i mean thunder are a lot better than expected shea just gets bucks whenever he wants i think it's closer than people think but i think shea is gonna pull it out now we're moving on to a very interesting topic deep boy defensive player of the year okay now the top one they got is Draymond and Emo. I'm taking Brooke, man. I'm taking Brooke Lopez definitely on the uh, deep boy. I mean, like, are we going to sit here and talk about just a player, a big size player that disrupts shots and just is a huge defensive presence? Him in and him himself, nobody scoring on him down low. Very good defensive rate. And it bolsters the Bucks' defense to a top 15, D, top, top five defense. You know what I'm saying? Him on the court, him off the court. It's so much different, man. Like, the dude just disrupts everything. Like, ain't nobody, like, it just fucks everything up. I think having him third right now is crazy on this, man. I think he's going to be a deep boy. I mean, he leads the league in block shots per game. I think Bam should be on here in particular, but, I mean, it is what it is. But, I mean, I think we're definitely going to take Brooke here, man. I mean, I think it's dope to see if Brooke wins it this year, man. Just, like, coming back and just and just winning deep boy. I mean, He's always been a great defender, but like, like this is—he's never been like this. Blocks, deflections, like everything, bro. Like he just—he just does it. And then we all know the MVP race. They don't got it on here because they're gonna save it. You know what I'm saying? We can just talk about the MVP race real quick. Now, I think everyone knows Jokic and Embiid, right? Giannis is there. I don't want to disclude Giannis, but I just think the media you already know uh, it's gonna be between them two, right? Now I could you can make a debate that Giannis could win it too. I, I have no problem with that. But <clears throat> Jokic and Embiid. I think at the beginning of the year, I think I think throughout the past, honestly, not just beginning of the year, I think up until last week, about three, two, three, three weeks ago, I would say maybe a month, we'll say. It was Jokic, man. I was dead set on Jokic. I'm gonna say Jokic is gonna three peat. Jokic definitely he's going with three peat like like Larry Bird did in in a, in a uh, MVPs, but. I think the last month, bro, Embiid's really shown why he's going to win the fucking MVP. And, I mean, he's he, the 52 performance against the Celtics. All these other performances. I mean, the the Nuggets went through a stretch where they were losing a ton of games. Losing to the Nets, losing. And, and they were really struggling. And even... They played their whole team against the um, the Jazz yesterday, and they lost to the Jazz B team. I mean, we've seen the Jazz put up a fight against the Lakers. But, I mean, they lost playing everybody against the Jazz fucking D-League, G-League, third-string JV team. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I mean, ja Jokic has been – he's been great. Don't get me wrong. Jokic is – he would M win an MVP if Embiid wasn't here and he would 3 beat. But I think this is the year they give it to Embiid. I think the dude has stepped up over the past month and really put him over the top, bumped him to first in the MVP race. And I just don't see – I could see a world where they'd still give it to Jokic, definitely, but I think it's I think Embiid's a do for one man, and I think if they don't give it to Embiid again, bro, I think that'd be so fucked, bro. Uh, we take a look here. here. Embiid's averaging thirty three points per game, ten rebounds of four, an assist shooting thirty three, a clip from three, fifty four from from the field, and a steal a game. Uh, twenty four and a half, twelve rebounds. The dude's averaging a triple double. He's point two assists away from averaging a triple double, right? And we gave Russ that when he averaged a triple double. It was a lot for Russ to get it. The 33 points jumps out. The rebounds jump out. But Jokic has five more assists. He's shooting better from three. Shooting better from the field. Nuggets are the one seed. Now that you look at it like that, it makes it makes you seem like they're going to give it to Jokic. I still think Embiid pulled it out at the end of the season. I do think Jokic is right there. Right there. I think he might still get it. On the fence, really. I'm going to Embiid, lock it in, final one, Joel Embiid. If I were to put money on it, I wouldn't because I don't really know.
I was just gonna lock it in for the day, you know what I'm saying? Went through all the awards show. Little, 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 little light video, nothing crazy, nothing crazy, but uh if y'all enjoyed this man, smash the like, smash the sub button. Live every day on Twitch. Let me know what y'all think about the NBA predictions in the comments and don't don't cook me too much. I ain't I ain't a crazy NBA fanatic like that. Just trying to you know what I'm saying? But um I'll catch you in the next one, man. Peace out.